What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scooby and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on video six in our series of my 2024 rig rundown. This is the series where I show you all the equipment that I'm wearing for 2024 and today's video is not going to be any different. We're actually going to be looking at fins and one thing that you will notice throughout this video, it has not changed. I'm using the exact same fins that we did in our last series of my rig rundown i believe it was from 2022 and the fins actually have not changed so let's go over here to the table and i'll show you exactly what fins i'm using for 2024 all right, guys, as you can see, I'm using the exact same three pair of fins that I was using back in 2022. Nothing has really changed. We're going to start over here on the left and just jump right into it. These are the Mares Power Plana fins. Uh, I really like these fins. These fins have been around forever. Now, this is the newest iteration of them. They do got a couple of colors now. I think you can get like a green camo and a blue camo in them. I just used a solid black. I do have the spring, steel, or the spring straps there on both of them as well, so I swapped out the bungees that came with those. But I really like these fins. They are solid rubber. They're extremely heavy. They're great for dry suit diving. And personally, I use them for salvage work, public safety work, commercial diving work. They're actually short enough that I can walk in them. So if I'm on land, I can actually leave my fins on and walk around in them if I need to. But they're just an all-around great beater-up fin, meaning you're going to put these through heck, and they're, still, they're just going to keep on kicking for you. But that's the Mares Power Plana. All right, next up, no shocker to you guys, these are the Mares Vanti Quattros. And yes, these are still my SSI Pro versions that I got back way back when. I believe I've had these probably since 2013 or 2014, something like that. Um, I have repainted them a couple times, the SSI and the Dive Pro on it. And even on the back, I've had to repaint the Follow Me. And yeah, I drew a little dive flag there. But uh, these are my go-to. I wear these fins for just about everything. And yeah, occasionally I will wear them for light salvage work when I don't want to wear on my power plane as maybe if I'm in a wetsuit or something. But these are my go-to. I wear these for all different types of diving, recreational, technical, side mount, back mount, you name it. I wear them. I even snorkel with them when I'm out in the tropics. I'll take those out when I'm snorkeling. They're great. They're lightweight. They are a neutral buoyant fin, but I did, did add the spring... Um, straps here so that they do become negative now uh, but with that being said they are still an all-around excellent performing fin great weight to them and yeah i just can't say enough about the mares Vanti quattro and the last set of fins up of course is the mares razor apnea and this is what i'm still currently using for free diving i did put free diving off for a little bit uh, but as we start getting into warmer months i'll jump back into it i've just been really busy with salvage work and teaching uh, i've got a ton of instructor courses i've been teaching here lately and here in the next few weeks i'm headed down south to teach some uh, some instructor courses down in florida too so yeah as soon as it starts warming up of course i will throw these guys back on get my free diving training back underway and uh, just see how how deep we can go. But I do love these blades. They're extremely um, responsive, if you will. They're a fiberglass blade, the best of them I can remember on these. And uh, what size are these? These are the 3940, so that's the metric size on these that I wear. I do wear socks with these. Of course, these two, you guys know I'd wear boots with them, but I do wear a pair of neoprene socks with these. But I like them. They're great performing fins. They're lightweight. Uh, they are kind of a beast to travel with, but the good news is these blades actually come out of the frame of the fin, so I can break them down and put them into a box or something like that to travel with. Or I can just travel with them like that, just strap it straight to my carry-on. But that's the Mares Razor Apnea. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for my 2024 Rig Rundown Fin Edition. I'm using the exact same fins I was using back in 2022. Nothing's really changed. I've not changed out any of the straps or anything other than putting the, the spring straps, which I still had on these back in 2022. So, yeah, I like them. They work great for me. They get the job done, and they're great working fins. I've probably got... I would say nearly seven or 800 dives on these right here. The Avanti Quattros, there's no telling how many dives. And then probably free dives, I've got about 200 on those uh, Razor Apnea. So yeah, they're great diving fins. That's what I use. Let me know down in the comment section below what fins you're using and why you choose to use that particular fin. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Stay tuned. We've got three more videos in this series. We're going to be looking at exposure suits. We're going to be looking at dive cameras what cameras am i using this year and we're also going to be looking at all the accessories that i'm currently using no you're not going to get to see everything that i own but you're going to get to see what i'm using in 2024 and just like the last time i'll have it laid out 
in the individual groups. So you'll see it, what I teach with, what I use for technical diving, what I use for side mount, so forth and so on. So you're going to see all that laid out as well. And I really hope you guys enjoy these videos. I hope it kind of inspires you to go out there and set up your own rigs. See what rig rundowns you've got. And just let me know down in the comment section below if you dive some of these fins or if you've seen any of the equipment in this entire series that you dive. Let me know down in the comment section below. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Take care. God bless and I'll see you in the next video.